I've been a West Brom fan, well, all my life, really. My dad brought me here to try and to, to, just to see if I liked football. 22 years later, I'm still here. I mean, I've always loved football, you know, 91, 92. Um, my dad used to take me to, to play football. My grandfather, who's a Norfolk man, supported Norwich City all his life. Obviously, because I felt different, I didn't feel that inclined towards football. And I had two sons who are now 13 and 15, since I've been going to the football matches with them. I've actually got to really enjoy it myself. In the 90s, I was out when I came to Norwich City, but it, I wasn't out at football. Everywhere I've sat in this ground at some point in the last 30 years, I've heard homophobic language. We had these two guys sitting behind us. Virtually every home match, there was something that was called gay. If you get anything like that at all, even just to hear it, it's extremely upsetting. It was summer 2013 and I hadn't played football for so long. I heard about the club, which was then Bexley and Victor. The half the team was straight, but they just wanted to play football in, a, in an inclusive environment. I've just never looked back since then. It's only since I co-founded Rover and out the group, people said, well, are you gay? I said, well, yeah. The biggest, most important change that we can make as LGBT sport of groups is visibility. We launched in 2013. Soon after that was one of the Global Canaries pitch parades. Talking about coming out, that is pretty outing to be on the pitch and say you're a proud canary. The EFL have been fully supportive from the very start and to raise awareness and understanding of uh, homophobia and tackling sort of uh, discrimination. We actually have a, a text number that people can use during a game which goes straight to the stewards so they can identify where a problem is occurring. We're trying to make people feel more included and comfortable. You should be able to go and enjoy a match unhindered and unabused by anybody. And until two women, two guys can walk hand in hand from the car park to the stadium without anyone batting an eyelid, then I don't think we'll have achieved that.